Wow. What a hell. Well, I shouldn't. <laughs> Dude, you're our people. I like you. Uh, it, it's a great film. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot to it. It's. I mean, we were just talking about it outside. It's not just a faith based movie, but yeah. it's also a great romance, a, yeah. a love story. Thank um, you. I know that you guys didn't want to do another biopic or biopic, whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you guys sat down with Jeremy. Yeah. And uh, how did this all come together? Yeah. It's all about the power of the story for us. That's why we get up in the morning, is just to tell stories that, that are entertaining and, and relatable no matter what you believe, but that really bring people hope and, and a sense of inspiration and purpose. And, and uh, it's all about what happens when we encounter the story, uh, first and foremost. Sure. And so when we sat down with Jeremy and Adrian Camp, and he began to tell this story of his first love, Melissa, it was just this gorgeous, uh, selfless, beautiful love story. Mm. Um, and it was riveting, we spent five hours uh, just talking and interviewing them. We were crying, they were crying, and I just felt in the room the same sense of hope, a rush of hope that we felt when we had interviewed Bart yeah. Miller that led to the film I Can Only Imagine, and we just felt like, we have to do this, this is our next film, you know? And, and we weren't looking for yeah. it, but it was so powerful, and I think so relatable, and I can't wait for the audience to feel what we felt that first day, you and, know, as the film rolls out. And there was something just universally relatable to the love story, like you said. And we try to do stories that are entertaining, regardless of what you believe, that have an entry point that somebody can take from it for their, where they're at in their life. Uh, but with this story, I went in very skeptical because I, I didn't want to do another music story and that type thing. But what really sold me on it was Jeremy was describing Melissa and he said that she said, if, if one life is changed by what I go through, it's worth it. And then we got to the end after interviewing him for a while, we interviewed his wife now, Adrian. And I asked her, how can you listen to your husband talk about another woman for three hours and not have a hint of jealousy? And she said, let me be very clear. I'm very protective over Jeremy and Melissa's story because it changed my life. It was something I needed to hear. Oh, wow. And I looked at John, I was like, we're doing this movie. Yeah, it's and so, Wow. You know, I know that uh, with Jeremy was almost there every day on set. I know that it's one thing to tell the story because he, he's, he's been a big advocate about telling the story. Sure. But it's another thing to relive it. Mm -hmm. um, and seeing KJ and Britt re relive some of the things that he went through. Can you talk to me about that experience a little bit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It, uh, Jeremy and his whole family were there for most of the film. And they just infused love into the whole experience. Uh, and it was contagious. It was just so amazing to... to uh, to just for their spirit to, to just uh, be a, such a part of the performances in the film and what went on behind uh, the, the camera because they're so great. Right. And Jeremy Camps is an amazing guy. And I think it was difficult for him to, to relive some of the moments in the film. And yet having him there made all the difference in the world. Yeah. And I think he just infused the film with something very special and something very authentic and very real. And, uh, and especially in his relationship with KJ Apa. I mean, they really bonded. And, and you feel so much of Jeremy in KJ's sure. performance. And I think that was because he was there most of the time. Another person that was on set with him some was Bart Miller that we did the story I can only imagine about. And Bart's an EP on the story. And so Bart was able to kind of give him a heads up of these are moments that are going to be great and these are going to be moments that are going to be difficult. Mm. And this is how you navigate both. And so I think he was an asset to him to be able to navigate because there's there's certain moments, even cer certain painful moments in the story that are word for word from that initial interview oh, wow. with him. And so seeing it like dramatized and brought to life definitely was like, you know, jarring at points for him. But he felt like we got the integrity of the story right. And he was very, very proud. Well, you guys did an amazing job. K KJ and Britt, amazing K they job. They are so yeah. good. They're, they brought they're, a lot the, to this. The, the chemistry between KJ and Britt is extraordinary in this movie. Uh, for me, just watching them fall in love with each other on screen is, is just so entertaining and so relatable and just sucks you in. They are amazing together in this movie. And, Great and, I, and, and I'm so proud of, of what they brought to the film.